I'm James Ernest, and today we're playing Pairs. So it's coming up on the 10th anniversary of this game. I thought I would reshoot the How to Play video and also uh, add a little bit to the video we had before. Pairs is a simple pub game. We call it a pub game because it has very simple rules. You can come and go whenever you want. Uh, it's also fairly unusual in that it has only one loser, not a winner, and so the loser has to do some penalty and then you play again. The deck for pairs is a triangular deck. That means that it has one one and two twos and three threes up to ten tens. Uh, there's no suits, just numbers, and this is the, uh, the deluxe edition, the retro deck that we made with artist Andrew Kolb. The object of the game is super simple. You're just trying to avoid getting a pair. You keep getting cards until someone folds or until someone catches a pair. When someone folds or when someone gets a pair, that player gets points. Points are bad. And the first player to reach a target score is the loser of the, of the round. And that is, uh, depends on the number of players. With five players, the target losing score is 13 points. Before I deal, I'm going to burn five cards off the top of the deck. That's because I'm going to deal all the way to the bottom of the deck, and I don't want people knowing exactly what's left. So every time we get to the bottom, we'll just reshuffle, burn five cards, keep going. I deal a card to every player, and the low card goes first. And that, in this case, is the peaches on number two. And I ask the peaches, would you like another card or would you like to fold? You will always take another card on a two. It's pretty un, uh, unrisky because you're trying just not to get a pair. And there's only two twos in the whole deck. So the two gets a three. On the nine, do you want to fold or do you want to hit? Let's take a hit. The eight takes a hit. The nine takes a hit. And I will take a hit on my three as well. Now back around to the deuce three. Uh, that's not a very risky situation. So they'll take a hit. Nine five takes a hit and gets a pair. When you get a pair you are knocked out and you get that many points. A pair of nines is worth nine points. So red is now going to accumulate that card and we're going to throw everything else away and we're going to play another round. Now that's where you don't want 13 points. It's not about the cards you get round by round, but it's about the points you score when you get knocked out. So if you don't want to get those big points for catching a big pair, what else can you do? Uh, the low card is the four, so purple's going to go first and we'll take a card. And remember, I haven't reshuffled this deck, so we actually have seen what's gone. We only know, we, we now theoretically know what's left in the pack as well. It's hard to count cards, but I mean, you'll know whether you've seen the one, right? Um, four takes a hit, gets a 10. I'm looking at these mushrooms and everybody has a seven, so I feel pretty safe. I'll take a hit on that. Green takes a hit, eight takes a hit, seven takes a hit. Now we're back to the four and the 10. If you fold, if you say, I don't want to play this anymore, you still get points, but you get the lowest card you can see. Purple could fold right now and score four points. The risk is if they take a hit, they could score as much as 10 points. And so that's the decision you're always making between hitting and folding. Take four points guaranteed, take 10 points maybe. And because 13 is all you need to die, 10 is a lot of points. Uh, purple's gonna look around and say, ah, there's two more tens, I'll take a hit, let's see what happens. Oh, and they get a 10 and that's 10 points for purple. That ends the round, we throw away all these cards. Let's do it again. The low card is going to go first. That's Peaches, and Peaches takes a hit because it's only a two. And look at all these nines that are out. So red feels safe taking a hit. Blue feels safe taking a hit. Purple takes a hit. Uh, am I going to hit these onions? Yes, I got a five. Deuce nine. Okay, let's show folding. So Deuce nine is super afraid of getting any points, and they'd rather this round was over. And they, anyone on the table could fold for that too. But it's Green's turn, so they're going to fold for that too. And that's going to end the round for everybody. Next round. If you're not sure who goes first, if there's a tie for lowest card, like there is here between these two fives, you deal each player another card. You can't die from this. This is just a tiebreaker. So you will get an extra card unless that card pairs what you already have, in which case you throw it away and replace it. Uh, so five, six is lower than five, eight. Five, six is going to decide. Now, right now, you could fold right now. You have more cards than everybody else, uh, but five, six isn't all that dangerous. So blue is going to take a hit and get a seven, five, six, seven. Uh, onions for the 10. Uh, if they folded, they could take five. That's not great. So let's hit that thing. 10, six, five, eight gets a one. There's our one card finally. Uh, so green being, no, we've seen almost all the sevens. Let's hit that green. Okay. Nine does not want another nine. Uh, so they are going to fold for one and that will end the round. 
When you reach the bottom of the deck, you just mark your place and keep going. Shuffling after every deal would be so taxing that we deal all the way to the bottom of the deck and we just burn those five cards. So here's my last card. I'm going to ask the six, that's me, what I want to do. I'm going to take that card as a hit. I'm just going to lay it down there face down so that I know that's where I am and shuffle and then we can get back into the game. Off every deck, I'm going to burn five cards. That way we can't count it perfectly. And I did take a hit. There's my card. It's an eight. And the action goes here. Does the 10 want a 10? Look, everything's back in the deck now. Everything's reset. All right, 10 takes a hit. Wow, red, even if red folded, red would die. Red has 10 points already. The lowest card in play is a six. They could fold for six points and lose. So they're going to have to hit that 10. You get into that point. When you have a lot of points, you kind of start running out of choices. But that's okay because it's a pub game and it's fast. Blue is going to take a hit on those lemons and get a seven. Nine takes a hit. Six, eight takes a hit. Ten, nine really doesn't want to take a hit, but they do it anyway. And they get that ten. They're at 12 points. They're not dead. The game continues. So we have a, I have a four. That's my, and I don't have any points yet because I'm playing so good. Four goes first. Four takes a hit. Four gets a nine. Five takes a hit. Gets another five and out. Ouch. All right, that was unexpected. You did the right thing and got the wrong result. So that is 17 points for green. They are the loser. So we have a loser. Everyone else wins. Everyone celebrates and we play again. Now I'm going to teach you a variant of pairs that's called continuous pairs. And the only difference is when someone folds, when someone busts, their hand goes away everyone else's cards stay in front of them. So in a regular game of pairs, when you have a terrible hand and someone else dies, you're very happy because your hand is gone. In this one, you still have to deal with that terrible hand. So continuous pairs starts just the same as regular pairs. It changes once someone folds or busts. So let's start a game. Once again, the low card goes first, and that is the one. Would the one like to take a hit? The answer is always yes. There's a nine for the one. Is the five going to take a hit? Yes. Uh, eight takes a hit. First 10 says, you know what? I don't want to do this. So the 10 can fold for the lowest card in play, which is currently the one. That's a nice little way to fold. Now here's what happens. The one is taken out of this hand. The red player, because he took the fold, loses all of the red player's cards. But everyone else's hand stays exactly where it was. So this player can't fold for one, but they can fold for two. So exactly the same thing happens here. Action's here. Uh, now you can fold for five or take a hit. Takes a hit, gets a six. Five, nine. I, I've just always been hitting my hands. I'm not exactly playing uh, strategically over here. Eight takes a hit. Now, when the dealer comes to you and you have no cards, you just automatically get one. And now we're back over to the nine, six. Uh, nine, six takes a hit and gets a five. Nine, eight, five takes a hit and gets a ten. Eight, ten is not liking any of this. They're going to fold for five. Now, when you fold in this game, it matters where you take the points from. So you can either take the card out of this hand or out of this hand. He's going to take the card out of my hand and leave me with three cards. So green got five points. By folding, he got rid of these cards in front of him. And now it's over to red. Red takes a hit. Mm, blue takes a hit. Purple takes a hit and gets a nine. That's nine points. Those cards go away. I'm going to fold for four. So I'm going to take these blueberries. It takes them out of play. It hurts this player to lose that card. And I'm going to get rid of these cards, which I'm desperate to get rid of. Free card for green. Onions could fold for, well, for seven. That's a pretty terrible. Ugh, okay. There's another four for onions. Ten seven is going to get a six. Here's a blank. Here's a blank. This 10 could fold for four. How many tens have we seen? I don't remember. Do you? 10 folds for four, takes that away, gets rid of this. And you get to see what would have come next. Oh, it's yet another four. Wow, red has gotten the last three fours in a row. Actions here, uh, fold for four, no, take a hit and get five. Eight takes a hit and get six. I hit mine and get seven. Blank card here, 10, four takes a hit and get seven. Um, that blue player really doesn't like hitting that, but he's going to, and gets the first cherry of the game. That's a three. Purple takes a hit and gets an eight, and that's 17 points, ouch. So purple, if purple was thinking about their own preservation instead of getting on with the game, they probably would have folded for three. 
That puts them at 12 and 13 is the losing score. So I think they were really happy to see that three come out. They could have taken that, but they took a hit. They risked it. They got this eight. They hit 17 points and that puts them out of the game. And that's, uh, that's the end of the round. That's how you play continuous pairs. The only difference being you don't clear somebody's hand until they fold or until they bust. Uh, and that's how you play pairs. Thanks for watching. Basic pairs and continuous pairs are the simplest things you can do with this deck, but there are so many other variations out there. We've got dozens of different pairs games, lots of different art decks you can choose from as well. So pick your favorite art, pick your favorite game, or, or play them all. You can find the rules to all of these games at Crab Fragment Labs. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. I'm James Ernest, and I will see you at the table.